So Bart Van Olfen is a chef and a sustainable seafood advocate. But in his new cookbook, Veggies and Fish, he makes vegetables the star of the dish and has sustainable seafood play a supporting role. So I'm going to make you one of the dishes out of my new cookbook, which is Veggies and Fish. I'm going to make a pasta and it's more like a a rustic version, my version of a puttanesca, which is tomato, anchovies, tuna. It's going to be delicious. Pasta is cooking behind me. Meanwhile, we are going to make this sauce. So the, the shallot here is simmering with some chopped chili. So mm. shallot and chili. If you want to have this sauce more spicy, leave the seeds in. I took them out. I want to have a bit more elegant sauce. So next step, I add a bit of garlic. I'm going to uh, give it a bit of extra heat. So garlic also simmer you don't you don't want to have that color because it you know caramelized can can give this bitter taste to it so ah, simmer point. and keep on stirring right so all these delicious flavors are infusing and coming together mm. and now this is well a little secret um it's anchovies i love anchovies and some people might be a bit scared because it's this little tiny fish this is the fillet of it but it gives this deep, rich flavor to the sauce. So I'll add this in the pan. And don't worry, because it will melt away into your sauce. As long as it blends into the sauce, I think I can handle the anchovy. Yes, exactly. I'm going to add some capers. And I've not the salty ones. Well, they were salty at the beginning, but I have them out of the jar with a bit of vinegar. Delicious. So, okay, so we have the shallot, we have the chili, we have the garlic, we have the capers, and now we're going to deglaze the sauce with a splash of white wine. Not too much, just enough to give this delicious taste of the white wine. And we Bart, to... what does it mean to deglaze something? Yeah, so you have the sauce, so you don't have this, this, this liquid. Actually, what you have done is like pan fry these veggies and they more or less like stick a little to the pan. When you yeah. deglaze it, you absorb these flavors again into your sauce. Ah. So now a little splash, uh, maybe a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. Because the reason why, I'm going to add some tomatoes. And tomatoes are a bit sweet, right? So what you want to do with this red wine vinegar is balance the sauce. You give a bit of acidity to the sweetness of the tomato. Feel free to use any tomato you can find. And I, I love these on the, on the vines, right? They give this extra flavor. Well, this is the base of the sauce. I prepped the sauce already because it needs 10 minutes, well, to be done. And what you see are is different colors. You see the liquid coming out of the tomatoes. Beautiful. So what we, it's beautiful, right? And it so looks so we, fresh. I love a puttanesca because it, it has such a fresh taste. And this is also the reason for my cookbook because I, be, I so believe that plant-based ingredients are the future, right? So what I did with my last nine books was traveling the world in a search for sustainable fisheries. Fish was always my hero. I, I changed that sequence. So vegetables, is my hero now, and I add fish to it. For example, canned tuna, I love canned fish. It's already cooked for you, so it's easy to use. It's delicious, it's healthy, it's nutritious, and sustainable. And That's what really kind of canned tuna do you get? Because I'm imagining quality does matter, right? Two species really available in the US, which is albacore tuna. You will find it at the coast, at the west coast, uh, near you. Um, and we have skipjack, and we also call it the light tuna. And, and skipjack tuna is amazing. It's 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 a small fish. It's low in mercury. Any oh. choice you will make, make sure that it's from a, from a responsible source. That's really important. Okay, responsible source. And my second question was going to be is, why is canned tuna more sustainable? Well, if you make the right choice. A little secret. Over 90% of all tuna being sold in the U.S., while it's the most consumed fish product in the U.S., it's from a non-sustainable source. So if you... And it's easy to recognize. So you go into a store and what you look for is the MSC logo, which is the Marine Stewardship Council. Plus make sure that it's called by Paul and Lyme and that's new to the market because most of the tuna is being caught in and around developing countries, uh, fair trade certified. Sustainability is serious, but I wanna know what else you have in your cookbook because there's a lot more fish and veggies to be found here. All kinds of recipes I've, I've um, different chapters like barbecued fish, we have, or fish, vegetables and fish. We have the raw chapter, we have the curries, we have the pastas. So what I try to do is make people think what they can do with vegetables and have fish in addition to it. Ah. So that's a great thing. 
Okay, so we have these delicious flavors, well infused. And now it's time for the pasta, right? It's the pasta dish. So what I use is this curly, groovy pasta, which really sucks in the sauce. And I'm using all, also a bit of the water where the pasta was cooking. It's starchy oh. water, gives flavor and a bit of texture, right? So I toss this and add a bit of basil and with some black pepper. And to finish it off, the Italian way, a splash of olive oil. Beautiful. And I love knowing what to look for now when shopping for tuna. Bart is sharing his recipe. Just head to our website.